everybody, welcome back. Well, guys, you seen pot, you know what that means. We're going to be cooking in the garage. Anyhow, well, guys, we've been out in the garage today and, you know, just taking care of some odds and ends, different things we need to catch up around the house. And so it's Saturday evening, I've been watching uh, James Bond on my television over there, old school, okay? Sean Connery, I've been watching Thunderball. So anyhow, we're going to be watching some James Bond tonight and cooking in the garage. Well, guys, what we're going to be cooking tonight is uh, some fresh fish, okay? So I went fishing yesterday, took my little boat to work yesterday afternoon, and after uh, we got off work, I headed off to the lake. Went to Lake Kiwi, did a little fishing, and, you know, caught some panfish and caught one decent little bass, uh, big enough to keep and bring home and cook, and that's what we're going to be cooking tonight, man. I got a, a nice little mess of fish down here that we're going to cook up in the old pot, but not on top of the wood heater. Way too hot for that. You'll see in just a minute. All right, guys, here's what we got. I got me about a half a dozen decent little fish in there that we're gonna cook up. Set that over here. All right, I got me a clean plate, a bag, and I got my salt and pepper and some House of Altry seafood seasoning mix. That's my fave, okay? That's what I use on my fish is that and salt and pepper, and that's it. All right, and of course we got some shortening here. That's what we're gonna put in the pot and get her going. So let's uh, look over here at what we're gonna use to heat that pot up this time because we sure is not gonna be building a big fire because it's like 85 degrees down south. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna be doing our cooking on today. A little Coleman dual fuel 533 camp stove, okay? And I just gotta be careful when I set my pot on there that you know that I don't tip it over and burn myself or whatever, but this thing's gonna work just fine to get a fire going. Now, if you've never used one of these, you gotta make sure that you pump it up good, which I've already done. And then when you first start it, it won't uh, burn right to begin with. You have to get it hot. There we go. All right, now we gotta let this thing get hot and then it'll start burning better and better and better. Pot. We're going to set on it. Make sure it's balanced good there. All right, let's put some shortening in that thing. Uh, shortening is getting pretty hot fellas so let me uh, get this house of altry opened up and I tell you I got to rec highly recommend them man this is some good stuff down south this is what you want I don't know if they have it up north where my buddy Ray lives at I'm pretty sure they got it in Savannah where search for Rob Finn lives alright check me some in there all right, and what I do is I just take my fish and I just, over the water here, man, I just salt and pepper the daylights out of it. Don't be afraid to put it on there, okay? All right, man, let's lay some fish in here. There's room for that bass in there or not. We're gonna squeeze him in there. All right, let's put the lid on. Let her cook for a few minutes. All right, I believe these things may be about ready to flip over. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I think they're ready to flip, definitely. All right, there's one. All right, turn loose, flip over. minutes down the other side. Hey! All right, well that's my mama calling me and it's time to take the fish out of the pot. Uh, <laughs> all right, I love you. I love you too, mama. I'll see you later. Uh, okay, bye. 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 Bye
Okay, guys. Bye-bye. 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 All right, well, I got Mom off the phone. I was checking on her, and it's time to get these fish out. Oh, yeah, man, look at that. Woo! Oh, them fish are gonna be so good. Mmm! Oh, look at that, boy. Mmm! Look at that. Look at the bones coming out of it. That thing is gonna be delish. Lay it in the pan there. There's our bass, look at that. All right, that's our bass that we caught. Here's our other brim. So we got two brim and one bass. All right, guys, take a look at this. We got these fish here out. We got two brim and a bass. I got some more brim over there cooking right now. And fellas, that's the, to me, these are the best fish in the whole world to eat, man. I just love them. All right, so man, we're gonna eat these uh, brim and this bass and we're gonna watch old Sean Connery up here is 007, do his thing. All right, guys, you can see old James Bond up there is doing that thing that he does best, and I'm down here doing this thing that I do best. Man, mm, look at that. Mm, that is good. Ain't much better than fish you call fresh fish cooked in the old pot out in the garage. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this little video of us out here in the garage, man. We're out here cooking some fresh fish that I caught in the boat yesterday. And I hope you guys come back to the very next video.